Hi, this is Scott from Airtel, and today we'll be going through installing a few apps through the marketplace, including the new Seek job posting, the Job Board Hub, and the Apply with Seek apps. To get the marketplace tab, the first thing you need to check is to make sure you have the right permissions. So if you can't see the, um, the tab up here, you can check your own account to see if you have the required permissions. The manage users is the first one you'll need. This is the admin permission on SnapPy. It allows you to assign other permissions to yourself and other users. If you already have this, you can assign yourself the can view the marketplace tab. Um, and if you don't have either of these, you'll need to check in with one of your admin users to either do this on your behalf or to give you these permissions. Once you have those, you'll be able to see the marketplace tab here and you can click through to that. Once we're in the marketplace, we can click on the explore to see new apps and we can come down to job board hubs. We install the job board hub, confirm, and then just wait for that to install. Once the job board hub is installed, we can once again go to explore, job boards, and now we want to find the uh, Seek job posting app down here and install that one. Once both of those are installed, we can now on the My App section, go to Job Boards, and we can see those installed apps. What we'll do uh, first is open up, if you have the legacy Seek, Seek Job Posting app, you can open that in a separate tab now, as we can use this information over here to pre-populate the new app. Opening up the Seek Job Posting, the newly installed app, um, there's now a setup required over here. If we click on that, we're taken into the app and asked to add an advertise ID. As mentioned, if you do have the legacy seat posting app, you can take the advertise ID directly from here. If not, um, come to your seek account on talent.seek.com.au. And once you're signed in, you'll have this menu over here. If you go to logos and brands, and then click these three dots over here and say view all brands. This page will show you any active brands you have on the site as well as the Seek ID for your account right here. What I'm gonna do is copy that, come back into our Seek job posting app, add advertise ID, and pop that in there. The name here is just a company name, it's just for your own reference. Uh, this will be especially important if you do have multiple Seek accounts linked to your Snap buyer. If you do have multiple accounts, you can add another one now. We can see that's been saved, that's great. We can now exit out of this app. Now that the Seek job posting is done, we'll go back to the job board hub. And there's just one option here that's worth noting. Once you come in, there's a settings tab down here, and this shows who is allowed to post through the Seek posting app now. Admin and recruiter will be ticked on by default, but you can also now allow managers to post directly to Seek if you would like them to. Just going to go to any open and internal, uh, in visible to internal and external jobs on the site. And we can now see the new job board hub widget over here. It will have the seek button in here for you to select so that you can post. And later down the line, we'll have more job boards available and you'll be able to post multiple job boards at once. Clicking on that, we'll click post job to seek and we'll get taken through to a page just asking for some general details then questions that Seek requires, or advertise ID, billing reference. This is a new one that's been added in so that you can track which cost center or business group that this job should be um, invoiced to later down the line. And Seek will include this billing reference when you are charged. 
select some of these standard categories. The location can now be typed in and it will pre-populate with some options. And then we now see the advertisement type down the bottom, either classic, standard, or premium, depending on what your account has. These variable prices now, and they will change depending on both the location and the categories you're posting to. So if you update the location and categories, these prices will also update down here. Once you click on either standout or premium, you're gonna get the option to fill in the key points and the branding down the bottom. Not all of these are required, but you can fill all of them out. And then these branding options, the three options that I'm seeing here are the ones that are uh, loaded against my Seek account directly. So if you're seeing anything in the list that you don't think should be there or anything that's missing, update it on your Seek account directly and it will automatically pull through to this section. Once we've completed that, we have an option to add another posting. So this would be a second posting to Seek for that same job. A good example of that might be if you want to post one job to both Auckland and Wellington, for instance, you'd be able to do it directly through here without having to start again. Once we've done that, we come to the summary page where you can review any postings that you're going to put, put through, uh, edit them if you need to, delete them if you need to, and otherwise you can click post all jobs. That's it for the job board hub and the seek job posting. If we now talk about, just close everything down, we'll now talk about the Apply with Seek app. Once again, we want to go to Explore, but this time we want to go to Apply Apps, and we can now see this Apply with Seek here. It's also showing up in our featured apps at the moment. We're going to install that. Once that's installed, we click on it here, and it's also got the setup required. And just like the Seek job posting, it's going to ask us to put in that advertise ID. So once again, you can either get that from your now existing Seek app or your Seek account. There will be an authorization link down the bottom here that you can provide to your Seek account manager to link this up. Um, otherwise, this is being done for any existing seed clients that we have. So this will only be required for new clients going forward. Once that's been done, we can go back to the My App section. And the last thing we're want to, going to want to do is go to Switch Gear. Just installing the Apply with Seed Gap doesn't automatically make it show up on any jobs. So we're coming into Switch Gear to now map it to show up as a button on adverts. If we choose the drop down here, we want to choose job actions and the workflow. The default in the brackets is the default for your entire site. So if you'd like to set this across the whole site, that's the option you should use. Otherwise, if you're only wanting to use this for particular workflows, you can set them on the workflows specifically instead. For now, I'm going to set it as the default across the site because I want it to be available across the board. We'll now get an external and internal candidates option here. We're going to do uh, for both if required. And hit this edit button here, which will allow us to now drag and drop things from visible to headed. So I actually have already put apply with seek up here. So I've got total apply and apply with seek up here now. Uh, and that's good. You do want to have two apply methods. You want to have a standard option and the apply with seek option. Because if a candidate doesn't have a seek account and is unable to use that option, you want to give them standard work. The new apply with seek form does use our new snap hire form, which is actually the snap hire platform over here. So you may also want to look at replacing that at the same time. So if that were the case, I would switch this up here and take total apply away. So now we have the same apply method used no matter which apply button the candidates pick. And that's just good for consistency's sake, but it is up to you. I'll make sure I've done the same with internals. And then I'll hit edit to lock that all down again. Another thing to note in here is this button ordering section. I'm going to choose the same thing, jobs and default. 
and we can now press edit again and decide which order the apps are going to show in. So I've got all the apply apps first and then anything else afterwards. And that's a good way to keep everything looking nice and you can change this anytime. Once we've done that, if we come to any job now again, you'll be able to see in the candidate buttons here, we now have the apply with seek and the new snap I apply form showing up. You can then change it on a job by job basis using this candidate button section. Otherwise it'll pull through whatever you've set as a default in switch, switch gear in the marketplace. If we now head to the career site, we can see that there's now an apply and apply with seek option for candidates. This particular job has an extra apply, uh, but that's something to just note. If you do see that, you might want to review the settings for this job. That is everything that's required to set up uh, seek job posting, the job board hub and the apply with seek. Uh, hopefully that's been helpful, but if you do have any trouble at all, do feel free to contact our client success team on hello at ATL.com and we'll be able to help out. Thank you.